Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to my video on streaming with SoundCloud Go Plus in DJ Pro 2. In this video, I'll be going over all the features um, with streaming with SoundCloud, and then I'll say my thoughts at the end. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Anyway, let's get started. So first, I'm going to go over uh, how to sign up for SoundCloud Go Plus, and then if you want to, you can convert your Spotify library. So I'm going to go to my web browser right now. So I'm on um, algorithm.com slash streaming migration slash SoundCloud. And you can just Google this streaming migration in DJ Pro to get here. Um, and make sure you clicked on SoundCloud. So I've already done a video on Tidal. You can see that on my uh, channel if you want. But uh, for SoundCloud, it was actually pretty easy to get signed up. So you can just click this link, get your trial. Now this link, um, it's nothing special. In Tidal, uh, they send you an email, and you, if you're a DJ Pro user or any sort of algorithm iOS user, uh, you get a three-month free trial. This is just, uh, from the best of my knowledge, any old 30-day uh, trial that anyone can get, which is fine. So anyway, you sign up either um, with a new account or you can use a different account that you have. Uh, I created a new account for this just to test it out. So anyway, I'm going to... Uh, move on from this but before I do it does make you put a credit card in um, so my recommendation is that you set an alarm or a reminder in your phone or somewhere where you will uh, remember to cancel it my title uh, free trial just finished and I did cancel it on time but I've definitely uh, forgotten to do that before so if you are going to do a trial be sure to uh, remember to cancel that if you're not going to end up using it in the future anyway Back to the software. So I'm gonna click over on the left to the SoundCloud button right here. And I'm logged out currently. So this is what it looks like. It just looks like um, some very simple featured things, um, whatever playlist they're trying to push right now, which is fine. But you can sign in by clicking right here. So I'm gonna click right here. And just like that, it's super easy. Now, if you see, I have all of my uh, playlists from Spotify here. Uh, I did not edit these at all. These are all from Spotify. And I was able to transfer them uh, using the recommended service that's on Algorithm's website. So I'm gonna go back to the web browser. So I'm back at the streaming migration page and you can uh, transfer your streaming library to SoundCloud. So I did this in my title video as well, but if you haven't seen that, you can just uh, watch here. So uh, I just click let, let's start and this is super easy. I really like this uh, tune my music. That's what it's called service. It's really, really good. So you basically just sign into your Spotify account or if you want, you can uh, paste specific playlists. Uh, then it's gonna make you sign into your SoundCloud account, which is fine. Now, um, uh, there were quite a few songs that SoundCloud either didn't have or they loaded the wrong one that like the title was similar or something so it's definitely not going to be perfect i think in title it was much better um at doing like a basic basically a perfect transition um but it was overall pretty good and i don't really have any complaints if there's any songs that you had in spotify that you didn't in uh, soundcloud you can pretty much easily add them to your playlist um, and once again, if you have any questions about this, just let me know. I know I'm not really showing you how to do it, but it's super easy to do. So anyway, back to the software. We see that uh, this bottom half of the screen looks pretty similar to um, the Spotify or any of the other streaming services, if you've ever used any of them. Um, you have your tracks here. You have your options on the left right here. And then you can search right here. So I'll go over all of those pretty quickly. So first, I'm just going to go over the filter. Uh, the filter, you can do all sorts of options, but I don't really use this, so I'm going to try to get do this as quickly as I can. So you can pick your BPM, you can pick your key, and you can pick whatever you want uh, to filter tracks. And one thing I like about SoundCloud is that the BPMs are already loaded for you. In Tidal, you have to load the track, and then it'll tell you the BPM, uh, which is fine, but not ideal for sure. Um, I'm gonna turn this off. You can also view your tracks with the album art right here. And I don't, if you notice this track right here, you probably don't notice, but this track right here is not by me. Where'd it go? 
happy birthday songs. I have a song called Happy Birthday to You, and the tune my music brought this one in there, so that's kind of funny. Uh, so just be aware that that might happen. Anyway, I'm going to go over to the left right here. These are all the playlists that um, Spotify, that I had on Spotify, I should say, and that to my music transferred over. So you can see all your songs or your playlists, whatever. And then right here, this is the explore section. So I believe in Spotify or title, it was called browse. I don't know. Um, but anyway, you can see what's on your stream. Now this is a brand new SoundCloud account for me. So there's nothing on my stream, but you can see what's trending and then you can pick your genre. So maybe metal, if you're a big metal person. I, to be honest, I've never met a metal DJ, but um, all sorts of genres, which is really cool. If you're looking for new music or um, just you're in a pinch when you're DJing at some point. You can also go to featured and I believe this is what you could see before you even logged in. I, maybe, maybe not. Um, but you know, good to know. Then if you click here, this is your library. I like this feature a lot because you can click on your liked tracks. Now these are my liked tracks from Spotify. Um, but in hindsight, I, I kind of wish I used my actual SoundCloud account, but uh, I really haven't been using SoundCloud in the past to find music. I've been using Spotify, YouTube, um, Reddit, other places to find new music. Uh, but anyway, this is cool if you are an avid SoundCloud user. Playlists, these are all the playlists that I have listed again. So it's a bit redundant, but that's fine. Uh, any albums, f people you're following, and any tracks you've uploaded will be here. Uh, I don't really think this tab is all too necessary aside from the liked tracks part, but it is pretty cool. Moving on, I'm going to go over to the search. The search is pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of just like any other search for any other service. So let's say that I'll search myself, Timmy G. Um, you see my Kanye remix. You see, I think this is my account right here. So songs, albums, playlists, other things, uh, pretty standard stuff in the search bar. Now, one thing that I'm actually thinking about right now is I wonder if they have the explicit marker. Um, I don't know if you have to do that when you upload a track on SoundCloud. None of my music that I upload is explicit. So let's see, let me see. I'll type in Drake. I seem to use him in a lot of these videos I make. So I don't see any explicit markers. So that if you're DJing, using streaming while playing tracks to uh, an audience that potentially does not want to hear any bad words, then you might want to make sure that you're playing a clean version, which is less uh, easy to tell here than in Tidal, for instance, or what Spotify used to do. So it's good to know. Um, anyway, that seems to be the extent of the search function. Uh, I'm going to click on the auto mix just for a moment because the matching songs uh, are interesting. So if I put this Drake song on the deck, the matching changes. So it looks like you just get other songs that are similar to that. So we, we see this with the other services and I, I'm not entirely sure if this is um, a SoundCloud thing or if it's just a DJ Pro 2 thing. Um, but either way, it is helpful if you are in a pinch or just wanna find some new music. Uh, the next thing that's kinda like this I'm gonna click on is the um, match right here so we kind of see similar songs right here or it looks like the exact same now that I'm looking at it but let's say I put a different song on we get um, other stuff now I think for tracks that don't have huge plays I think these are my SoundCloud likes or likes that I have done before I'm not entirely sure but uh, it's fine, nothing special. Now I think you can pick other um, services. I don't know why you'd have more than one service unless maybe you had a really good reason. You can see here, Spotify does not no longer work. Um, the last time that I made a video on this, Spotify did still work even though it was after the date. But if you look down here, um, it is definitely not working and it will lead you to the migrate. So if you don't know how to migrate, um, you can click on this link right here. Anyway. Um, so yeah, that's really all I had to say about this section. This will show you 
songs you played in the recent section, your cue, and um, music from any of your places that you want. But overall, that is basically it. Uh, there's no videos from SoundCloud, which is fine, but um, just something that the other services might have. Uh, so now I'm going to qu just quickly talk about my pros and cons about this. Um, the first pro is that, and probably the most important one, is that you can you can play remixes that are not on Spotify, like unofficial remixes. You can play bootlegs. You can play mashups that that you won't find really anywhere else. SoundCloud's um, audio library is probably the largest one just because it's so easy for anyone to just upload something, any kid or someone who's new to just mess around on their computer for a little bit and put something online or any uh, band that is just recording a demo. So it's super easy to get music on um, to SoundCloud. So like it's, it's fun that I get to see some of my remixes that I have on SoundCloud but I can't have on Spotify. Um, so that was super cool. Um, other pros that is that if you are an avid SoundCloud user, it's really easy to integrate your own stuff and to um, find new music within this software and just in on SoundCloud in general. Um, so those are my pros, I'd say. The cons, um, there are a few cons. Transferring over from Spotify was definitely not as easy as transferring from Spotify to Tidal. So that's definitely something to um, think about. And the explicit markers that I just found out that are basically the lack thereof, explicit markers is another con. Uh, and the 30-day trial is fine, but it's not as good as uh, Tidal's 90-day trial. So that's something to think about. Um, but overall, it's a it's a it's definitely a good option if you are interested in using SoundCloud or just used to SoundCloud. Um, but yeah, so that's about it. If you like this video, if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and check out my DJ videos, sound design videos, or original music, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.